It looks like former Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich is going to prison yesterday in a retrial. A federal jury in Chicago convicted him of brazen political corruption. CBS News national correspondent Dean Reynolds has more. The disgraced former governor was badly shaken by the new role he's now assuming, convicted felon. I, frankly, am, am stunned. Um, there's not much left to say. That's because the jury of 11 women and one man said it all, guilty on 17 out of 20 corruption charges, for most of which was the accusation that the ousted Illinois governor sought to enrich himself in a scheme to swap or sell the Senate seat once occupied by Barack Obama. FBI wiretaps played at his trial captured a certain relish he seemed to have about maximizing his appointment power. I mean, I, I've got this thing, and it's golden. Arguments that Blagojevich was simply thinking aloud or engaging in the kind of horse trading practiced by many politicians did not prove persuasive to the jurors. In this instance, when it is someone representing the people, it crosses the line. In the end, Blagojevich got nothing for the Senate seat except an indictment, and that led to his impeachment and removal from office, followed by a long tour of the talk shows where he pleaded his innocence. Blagojevich faces up to 300 years in prison, though legal observers say the judge will surely reduce his time behind bars. I expect he's going to get somewhere in the high single digits. The former governor said he expects to see us all again, and indeed, the defense says it expects to appeal the case. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Chicago.